thoughts of you like a wave returns to the sea into the blue they change but it my subscribers have requested that i do a recipe on hey guys welcome to yet another video thank you all for being here i want to start this video over here by making breakfast this is actually 5 10 a.m in the morning i want to make some odds i woke up very hungry and i decided let me just fix something for myself and then i'll be also fixing some uh, cake for the kids to carry to school and also have it for breakfast so here i have some egg whites that i've separated from the egg yolk i'll mix them well until they are a bit fluffy then put them aside and then i'll be also mixing the egg, uh, egg yolks i want to make a carrot cake and when i want a very nice and fluffy cake this is the procedure that i normally go with because i find it very convenient for me to achieve uh, whatever cake that i want so i've mixed the egg whites uh, very well and this is uh, the turnout it's it's very fluffy so i'll be putting it aside then i'll be mixing uh, whisking the egg egg yolks yeah the egg yolks i'm not using uh, any sugar in this recipe i'm only using honey yeah honey is sugary but i'm using honey i just wanted to have a very healthy cake on this day i've added oil into the egg yolks some vanilla clear vanilla essence into the mixture i'll mix this mixture well and then i'm adding also some honey i love honey this honey is very very organic uh, it's not something that i i just uh went with uh it's very very organic because i got it from a friend who keeps bees so it's very very organic honestly i'm very sure about it because i've been there and i've seen it and then i'm going to add in self rising flour it's very quick uh to use that is the flour that i'm using i'm going to mix everything well until they're well combined with the mixer and then i'll be introducing in back the egg whites this is how i do it i just mix it slowly with the spoon i don't use the mixer to do it because that is the procedure that you can use to achieve the fluffy cake that you want if you go with the mixer i it's, it's not going to work so i'll be mixing with the spoon and then i'll be introducing in my grated cocoa uh, my grated uh, carrots uh i love carrots i just these are fresh carrots that i have i already peeled grated them and then i'm going to mix them well everything well until uh they're well combined i'll put i'll put this in a tray let it bake for like 15 minutes and then i'll be checking uh after 15 15 to 20 minutes yeah my oven as always doesn't have a timer so i keep checking manually then i'll be introducing in some uh, cashew nuts uh just for some nuttiness cashew nuts are so good so i'm adding them into my carrot cake these are already roasted and salted cashew nuts they are the ones that i'm using then now my my oats are done those are oats that i've put inside the blender i've added some roasted peanuts i'm adding some cocoa i'm adding also some uh cinnamon this mixture is just amazing i'm going to blend it well and then i'm going to put it uh to add a little bit of honey for some sweetness i just wanted uh something a little bit sweet i've added a little bit of honey and then i'm going to blend just a little bit then it is done i'm going to put a little bit of strawberry some fruits this morning is just so good then i'm also going to uh, put a little bit of the roasted cashew nut still because why not this this uh this porridge is just so good for your morning it will energize you it will keep you full throughout the day and you'll just love it because it has amazing flavors so the carrot cake is actually done and it looks amazing i was checking whether it's done that is how i do it and the knife came out uh, very clean so the cake is done it's so spongy and it's so good i want to cut into it and see how it turned out 
and this is how it looks like it's so oh, so 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 fluffy i'm telling you it's so fluffy it's good it's cooked it's spongy it's dense i love it <laughs> you see that it's nicely done this is how i love all my cakes and the kids really actually did enjoy it and they carried some to school and we called it a morning yeah tell me how you would rate this cake if it's good if you would add some nuts into it or if you wouldn't later in the day i went for some shopping because i wanted to restock up for the month i only got the things that i really needed because i've been buying a little bit of uh, the things uh, in between the month so i just went for the things that i honestly needed for this month and i did not buy much but at least i bought on a budget that i had planned for the seasons come and go like thoughts of you like a wave returns to the sea into welcome back to my channel thank you for being here so i'm from the supermarket and it's that time of the month i want to do a haul real quick so these are some of the things i got actually i went for rosy because it's her it was an offer so i went for these rolls there are 10 rolls the parsley lavender scent one was uh, one kg was on offer as well so I got this. I actually got two. Normally I buy toast 5 kg, but I just went for with this because I was on a budget. So I went for this because they were on offer. Some indomie. I think I got these uh, two packs. Yeah, two packs. This is the beef flavor. I got that. Then I got some pasta. Some pasta. I went for Rene, normally I, I, I go for Santa Maria, but today I wanted to, I decided to go for Rene because the prices were a bit low, so that is why. I love mushrooms, as you know, I love mushrooms, so I went for mushrooms. I got some whites, I normally use uh, the soft care, but I decided to go for the Bella one. I got two packs, some prestige margarine, yeah, this one. Normally for baking or even toasting, still some pasta, and then I got some um, sauces, soya chunks. I love soya chunks, so I went for like a, these are two parts, I think they are more somewhere. Then I also got some uh, hand towels, so yes. Then I bought some coconut cream, coconut cream is a must because when I'm making legumes I have to use coconut cream. Or maybe some curries so i got these small ones so that i cannot when i don't want to use the whole can i can go for these small ones that is why i bought the small ones and they're quite affordable when you buy them like this so i bought like six of them yeah i got six of them as some lotion so i decided just to get the smaller one i normally use the media cherry blossom jojoba oil that is the one that i normally use then i went for geisha black soap it's my go-to soap. I love it. This is the ones that we use. So I got two because I still have some. I also got some glycerin. I normally buy the cocoa butter one. Some chicken breast. Uh, two pieces. I got some chicken wings. I also got some chicken tikka masala. I want to... Uh, when I want to make the tikka masala, I'll be... The chicken tikka, I'll be using the chicka, chicken tikka masala. As I was shopping, I was with my son and he decided to pick this uh, jelly. I don't know. He said he knows how to use it. More tissue. This is the Bella one. The Bella or It's premium. It's nice. Yeah. It was a bit cheap as well. It was around 390. Pampas, of course. Normally, I buy Weetabix because it's a little bit quicker. Uh, normally, for breakfast, for my kids. When I don't want to make tea, and maybe when they are late, I can fix that. As I said, I still have some, these are soya chunks. I don't know when they started uh, putting beef flavor on soya chunks. Soya chunks are supposed to be uh, plant-based. I don't know why they use beef flavors, but um, I just want to test it for the first time. Normally, I buy this. This is my go-to. But as for this one, it's my first time, and I want to try and see how they taste. Some more indomie. Yeah. More indomie. 
no, Indomil, that is the chicken flavor, and this one is the beef flavor. Some salt, sea salt. I normally buy sea salt. It's it's what we use in this house. Uh, if I don't buy uh, the sea salt, I will always get Himalayan. I got some sweet corn for my salad. Yeah, this is sweet corn for my salad. Jaggery. Jaggery is a uh, in Kiswahili it is uh, called uh, Skariburu. It's so good for some uh, if I want to fix odd porridge and I don't want to use honey or white sugar, I will always go for jaggery. Then of course I will have to get some flour. This is all purpose flour. I still have some so I went for this, the smaller one. And I got some vinegar. Uh, majorly for cleaning purposes and I also got some uh, chapati chapati flour of course I bought the white one because I still have the brown one then I also got some mandazi flour this is mandazi flour I went for, my, for the X one I'm obsessed with eggs X is my go-to and then I also got some X flour for self-rising for mandazi steel or pancake. The self raising the, with the purple pack is majorly for pancakes. Then this time round, I went for sunrise biryani. I went for this because I want to try it. It's my first time. And it was quite affordable. 5 kg at 999 shillings. I felt like it's quite affordable. Cooking oil, the sunflower, uh, Rinsan cooking oil. This is my oil always. So I got this. It's three, three liters. Avocados. Mm -hmm. Avocados mainly for our dishes. Also some oranges. These are pixies. I don't know if the pixies are on season or I don't know. I got so, some avocados. Yeah. also got some eggs. Mainly I buy eggs for baking. If you would want to eat eggs, I will still restock. I uh, also got some fish. These are fresh fish from the depot. So I will uh, just put them in the fridge and then I'll uh, cook them maybe later in the week. Into the blue. They change, but in a cycle that I can lose. Each painful but delightful to some of my subscribers have requested that I do a recipe on how I make my fermented cabbage that is sauerkraut some uh, some call it sauerkraut but I mean I'm used to fermented cabbage that is what I've been making for so many years and fermented cabbage is so good when you incorporate it in your meals because it is a probiotic and it has a very light culture when you ferment it up to the time that you are consuming it so it really does help with your gut health and this is how i normally make so i'm going to show you normally i do ferment it for like two weeks so that it can be good for consumption that is when you can get the fermentation process going so i'll be fermenting the cabbage for almost two weeks so i'll just show you how i do ferment it today but at the results i'll be showing you next week so uh, let's get started and before i get started i want to appreciate you all for getting me to 3000 subscribers it's not my making it's for your love that i was able to get to 3000 subscribers and i am forever grateful and really thankful for you subscribing to my channel and if you're watching me for the first time please do consider subscribing to this channel because we have an amazing content to begin with i have sea salt over here i'm using sea salt this is the kind of salt that i normally use in fermenting my cabbage and i have some fresh cabbage so i'll simply remove this leaf over here Make sure that you remove only the fresh part that doesn't have that so that we can avoid maybe some worms. I'm not going to wash this cabbage, that is why I'm removing most of the seeds to remain with the part that is actually actually very clean.
so i want to add in some salt and normally if you add salt don't over salt it but fermentation needs this salt actually uh, so that you can get uh, some good acidity let me say this is one cabbage so i've added like a, a four three spoon or four four spoons the ones that we use we use in uh, eating so i'll be massaging this cabbage for five minutes until they release a lot of juice the salt actually helps them release the juice uh -huh. As you can see, it has started uh, releasing the juices. You see those? Those are juices. It's not water, it's just the juices from the cabbage. So I'll keep massaging because I need it to I need to re it to release a lot of juices before I can actually uh, go to the next step. So I have my jar over here. This is the jar that I want to use in making the, the fermented cabbage. So what I'll do, I'll sterilize it. This is hot water. I'll just uh, put it inside the water. And then I'll just let it stand inside this hot water just like this. And then when when it is sterilized, I'll use it in fermenting the cabbage. Each paper but delightful to live through. You came into So this is how the cabbage looks like. And uh, I've sterilized this and I've let it uh, drain the steam that it had uh, on the inside. So what I'll do, I'll put the cabbage inside as it is. So I'll push this cabbage down like this. I just want to push it down so that it doesn't create any space here. I just want them to be like uh, accumulate together. That is why I'm pushing that down. We don't want to create any space that the cabbage does leave. So I'm going to push down nicely. So I'll compact it uh, so that we don't uh, get um, so that it doesn't have the space to actually breathe. That is how you ferment your cabbage. I just had to take you through all the steps so that you can uh, get what I'm talking about. And make sure all you are, you are, you are, whatever you are using to ferment your cabbage is sterilized and it is clean and also free from impurities. As you can see, as I'm pushing down, it's still uh, releasing the juices. And I want the juices to actually be on the top to cover the cabbage, and the cabbage will be down. Sterilized these ones. Uh, these are the leads to these. And then I have, this is the rubber. I've also sterilized. This is hot, not hot water. It's salty water. I've added some salt in that water. I also have a leaf of cabbage. Those, so this leaf of cabbage, this is where I'm going to put it. I'm putting it inside here so that if this cabbage gets to build molds, it will build on the leaf and not on the cabbage. Okay, so I'll put the leaf inside. You came into my life just like a night season. Not for long, just a time, just like a night season. As you can see inside there, I've put a clean film. Uh, that is, uh, you can put any uh, paper, clear paper. So I've used uh, the clean film to cover it. I did put the leaves of the cabbage on top of that place before I could put the clean film. So that is how it looks. The juices are down. The cabbage is under the juices. So with whichever mold that will be building, it will build on the clean film and also on the top of the cabbage. So it won't be affected. So I'll cover this. 
and put it in a darker place for two weeks make sure that when you do ferment this you put it in a place that is free from parasites and anything that is crawling to avoid contamination on our sauerkraut so i'll be showing you this after two weeks fix a meal real quick so i'm adding oil into my pot I have here some fennel seeds. The fennel seed really smells so good. So I'm going to add the fennel seed into my oil. And then what I'm going to add next is the onions. I've uh, chopped them. So I'll fry them just a little bit until they are transparent. Some of you have asked me how my pots are doing. As you can see, they don't need a lot of heat. I actually made a mistake by putting a lot of heat. I've just reduced it. And as for the norm with stainless steel, you just have to take care of them so that they don't get stains. But these stains do come out. When I'm done cooking, they just come out. It's not difficult for them to come out. And I love stainless steel. I'll still stick on stainless steel pots. I will add in a little bit of a cardamom powder. Then I'm also adding in some cumin powder. I'm going to also add in some salt, also some uh, soaked rice. I'm actually frying this rice with only cardamom and uh, cumin powder because the flavors from those two spices into the rice are just amazing. I decided to do this dish because I did not want to do the salad anymore until next time. So I decided to use the sweet corn on the rice. I love this combination. I've never done it here before, but I normally do this dish uh, in my house. So I've added the sweet corn into the rice. I know everything is just starch, but it is okay. The flavors are just amazing when you combine the rice and the sweet corn. The sugar from the sweet corn is just amazing. So I've added some salt, added uh, hot water. I'm going to bring this into a boil for like uh, five minutes after it has uh, boiled. I'm going to lower the heat down, cover it, let it simmer for 10 minutes and the rice will be done. So on this pan, I'm adding a little bit of oil. I'm adding some spices that is cumin powder, cardamom powder, fenugreek powder, um, uh, turmeric, uh, curry powder, paprika. I'm going to mix everything well and then some salt until everything is nicely infused into the oil. Add in these are stripes of uh, strips of uh, chicken, chicken breast. I just diced them into smaller pieces. Then I've added them into the mixture of uh, oil and spices. Honestly, infusing the spices into the oil is just a good trick to get good flavors into your chicken or any meat that you want to make in this form so they've turned golden brown i cover them to just cook a little bit and they, they've turned a little bit of uh, their golden brown i'm going to add in some onions chopped onions i minced garlic onions and uh, garlic are just best friends of the chicken they give amazing and good flavors into the chicken i love that combination that is why i decided just to add the onions later this is Greek yogurt that I'm using just to get some sour taste on the chicken and just enhance the flavors of that uh, the chicken breast. So I'm mixing everything well until they're well combined. I'm going to use the green and red peppers. Green and red peppers on uh, into the chicken are just also amazing. Mostly the green pepper on the stewed chicken is also good, but also on the sauteed chicken, is also the stir fried chicken it also goes well with the stir fried chicken and i'm going to simmer them just a little bit i love my peppers are crunchy that is how i love them uh when i take them i also added some spring onions for some garnish and some uh, flavors i'm going to mix everything well and then serve with the rice this meal was just amazing i love the taste i love the flavors i love the sweet corn mixed with the rice the taste is just amazing. And I served with kachumbari. Kachumbari is a mixture of onions and uh, tomatoes, raw tomatoes, diced. And then I served with uh, uh, some avocados on the side. The meal was so amazing. I am so grateful that you've been sticking around until this point. Thank you so much for the love and thank you so much for being here. Until my next video, bye guys.